Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Real Firm Podcast. It's been a minute, took a little break there, uh, but we're back. If you're just listening on the audio platforms, check the video out if you like on youtube.com slash at symbol real firm with, with the E. And if you're watching here on YouTube, you can listen to these on all the audio platforms. Speaking of audio platforms, that's kind of what this is about a little bit. Uh, well, I'm calling this uh, a firmware update. I used to do these. It's a little throwback name. It used to just be a YouTube video concept I would do back when I lived in New York City and I was doing the gaming stuff and some music covers here and there. Every once in a while, I'd give an update. I call it the firmware update. Another one of the many plays on words of the great and you utility. Utile, uh, use versatile name of firm. So, uh, yeah, that's what that is. So this is kind of more of a YouTube video, and because I we missed the podcast, I figured I would just make do, do, combine them into one. So it's the podcast episode, and it's just me solo talking about myself, uh, which I don't do often, but it is what it is. It's what we got to do. Um, last week, I was in uh, the mountains in North Carolina on a Thanksgiving break uh, trip. It was a good time around the Asheville area. We went into the city there, fun, the quirky, fun, cool little, almost like New York City in the ma- mini Manhattan in the mountains. It was, it was a very interesting place. Uh, and then I came back and I got sick, like right be- basically two days after I got back. And then I was like, all right, I can't. We just have to miss a week, and not that many people <laughs> listen to me, uh, let's be honest, so I didn't really make a big deal of it. But here we are, we're back, and uh, yeah, guests will, the guests will be back soon enough, but it is what it is so far. Um, so uh, on this firmware update, uh, talking about a song that I made, finally finished, and is in the process of being distributed and uploaded if you're listening to this on the monday it i i should i plan on getting the lyric video out uh so you you can and and on soundcloud and Bandlab and those platforms if you want to go listen to it it and, and youtube lyric video they all should be out on monday if all goes as well planned if you're watching the video this will come out on tuesday so it definitely should be up it's in distribution uh, for the Spotify's and whatnot, so I, I don't know how long, five days, something like that. Um, I literally just sent it out. Spent uh, three months since I got the idea to make the song. Shout out Blackwell. Um, the last time I made a song was on his beat over a year ago, and I felt, uh, you know, I had to, I, he sent in this beat uh like three months ago and I was like I think it's time for another song because I like the beat so much and boy did it take me a while to perfect it not that it was it wasn't the main thing I was working on for the whole three months but I just had to I kept going back and changing things I might do another video afterwards to kind of review my own song maybe we'll see so I'm not going to get too into the details of that but it's about uh, basically you know, the reason why I make songs is usually, I don't do it very often, like I said, this is the once a year kind of thing at this point, maybe I'll start doing more, who knows, but uh, a pent up emotional build up of things where I have to get something out, that's when I usually find myself writing songs, otherwise when I do musical performance recording stuff, it's almost always a cover of something, and even then it's uh, in the, within the cover, it's because I want to get it tapped into the emotion of the song that I'm covering. It's all about the feels, you know? So that's that. And so the topic of the song is basically uh, how I've been feeling about uh, this whole social media and trying to generate this uh, thing on my own, this commute, building the community, the following, whatever, the influencer shit, if you want to call it. It's a weird word, but it it does kind of make sense when you think about it. Um, I don't like to call it that, but it is very practical. Not not going by that, but just that whole grind. That's what it's about. It's called Numbers. Uh, 
I think you you, you can infer what what that's uh, referring to. Numbers, yes. So check that out. I'll put the pre-save for the Spotify in the descriptions if you want to. Go ahead. Again, this isn't. I'm not. Uh, not really trying to be a recording artist as a career. I never was. Uh, I mean, if it randomly happened, I, w I wouldn't decline it, but it's not something I'm like super after. So I'm, it's just, it's more of a, I got this song, people will uh, listen to it and it'll be a fun time kind of thing. Something to talk about and all that. Uh, some interesting um stuff about the process though is um it's the first time doing it in a year a lot has changed there's a lot of new plugins and stuff that i got and a lot of just perfecting all these things that i had to relearn and it, i realized how good it was there's another, another reason to do it is because i'm always giving feedback on um tracks of other artists and, and advice and whatever it's good to get myself back into that whole engineering process because most of these uh, artists, you artists, probably uh, some of you listening, are doing it yourselves, and um, it gets me into back into that perspective of oh yeah, that's this is the process. So uh, it, it's it's helpful for that in a, in a great way. Um, and ironically, I did not receive or seek any feedback for this, and not because I don't believe in it. Of course, I I this song probably would be a lot better if I had gotten some feedback, but I didn't, I want, I want it to be a secretive kind of out of nowhere thing. I definitely didn't want to share it online. And then the people I'm around in person, I didn't, uh, I, I, I kind of just wanted to, I didn't want anyone to really know what I was doing in that sense. If I took it more seriously f for the, you know, getting the sound like absolutely perfect the way I want and like all kinds of ideas, I would have received, I would have uh, seek and suck, <laughs> I would have seeked out uh, feedback of others. So that's an interesting, it's completely isolated within my own uh, ears and, and uh, eyes of the mixing. So who knows? I mean, I, I think it sounds pretty solid. I, I don't, I'm sure there's things that can be improved about it. It is what it is. I got it to a point where I, I went back to it so many times. Like I said, it took three months. I changed the lyrics. At the two parts, like the main two parts kind of were there from the start, but I changed so many things from when I started it. And then all the little different mixing things I changed and tweaked in the mastering I spent a week on. And, and the lyric video alone, I really uh, hope you guys check that out because I have been doing like the last three days it, this Saturday I spent the entire Saturday not like the entire waking hours doing it but the only thing I was doing mainly besides breaks from it was this lyric video utilizing all the cool things a cap cut can do with the the animations of the words and and like the visualizing aspect of it too with the effects of the the cover art and that was the other thing that I that spent a long uh, quite a bit of time on with the cover art a little ai um original uh, ai generated but then i i did a lot uh, to it it wasn't just a ai spit it out and slap it up i did a lot more to make it look the way i wanted it to so yeah it's a whole creative process that i i was it's pretty fulfilling i'm, I'm quite proud of it because I haven't done something as creative in this way in a long time and put as much energy into one thing. So I, 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 I feel pretty good about it. It was uh, got a lot of stuff off my mind, my mentals, my feet, my emotionals, all about the numbers and the social medias and all that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about here. This is going to be a short one. Uh, like I said, I don't ha I uh, I've been uh, expending most of my time and emotional energy on finishing this because I really wanted to get it out because it's been driving me crazy with my perfectionist brain just continually wanting to go back and tweak things which uh, again would be a lot help more helpful if I were if I had seeked why do I keep getting caught up on this if I had seeked out I guess that's the way you say it seeked out feedback 
from others. Maybe if I do another song, I'll, I'll probably do that in the future. But, um, yeah, I, having it all isolated within my own head, the entire process was uh, quite... Uh, yeah, it, I, I can see how getting feedback would probably take me out of a lot of that perfectionism. Uh, or at, at least dr drive me in directions where I'm not... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it gets complicated, but it is what it is. So, um, that's a, yeah, I, I and, and again, um, if this, do, if, if this is received really well, then maybe I'll be inspired to write more songs. And, um, again, shout out to Blackwell. That's the other, the other main reason why I write songs is to, uh, to collaborate with the other uh, artists. I'll just give a minute on Blackwell here who started submitting his beats in uh, close to when I started streaming, accepting uh, music submissions, and everything he sent in has been such a, every, like, so succinct and, and beautifully orchestrated as a foundation for a song in a, in a fair amount of genres, not just like trap and hip-hop, which is obviously the most common beats you hear, but, so yeah, this one's like a cinematic one, and, um, yeah, I wanted to, if I'm going to make my own song, I want to give, I wanted to help bolster the community, and so shout out to Blackwell for the, for the making the beautiful beat that made it uh, a lot easier to write a song if that, if I were to just either make my own beat, which I did for the first song I put out on, uh, the streaming platforms, which is kind of a demo, Comfort Please, if you want to check that out, not, um, it, it, that was a while ago. I, I'm not here to talk about that. But anyway, this is only the second song I'm putting out on streaming platforms. And um, and made and the first song I made a lyric video for, which was uh, quite the process. But yeah, I hope it, you know, just to generate some hype in the community, remind people, hey, I, uh, I can write song, I can sing and write songs too. Um, if, if for people that are new who, who don't know or... For those that have just, you know, kind of forgotten, hopefully they get, can, I can garner a little even more respect. Um, but again, I, I don't have all the answers e either way, but I do my best and I enjoy the songwriting process, but it's such a, a grueling thing for me because of how much I obsess over making it so perfect. It's so time consuming. So yeah, if I were to make another one, I would it would have to be either another huge emotional outpouring that I needed to do from some kind of life event, or that, definitely that, but also in combination with uh, knowing that people want to hear more, I guess, or if it's going to continue generating hype, I suppose. It might be a weird way to look at it, but either way, it, it is, it's very personal to me, and it's a, a deeply internal introspective thing i think it's very rel relatable to a lot of pretty much anyone that's had any kind of gone for any kind of uh social media online grind i think even not even just social media but expanding to just anything starting something yourself and trying to watch it grow and the turmoil that comes with putting uh, so much time and effort and not seeing results for a while and if that, just a little result. So that's going to be it. Numbers by Firm. Coming out. Uh, again, it should be out if you're listening to this. It should be out on uh, the lyric video. Unless I had some kind of uh, OCD uh, episode. I <laughs> and have then re tried to redo it and delayed it. It should be on the YouTube lyric video. On the YouTube and... Um, probably on SoundCloud and uh, BandLab. I haven't uploaded anything to BandLab yet, but a lot of people are using that, so I'll figure I might as well do that. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be out and on Spotify and iTunes and all that as DistroKid pushes it out. Spot uh, Pre-save link I, I'll put in the description of this, uh, this podcast episode and the video of it as well, I, I suppose. I hope I remember that. Um, I believe that is it. 
Yes, thank you for listening and watching this firmware update combined into uh, a podcast episode, a short, brief one, but it was enough, I, I had enough to say to where I didn't need someone to bounce off of, and I don't think I even need to edit this in terms of breaks, it's just uh, I had enough on my mind to get out, and that's what it is. So, Real Firm Podcast, a uh, new song, and firmware update, all in one uh, thing, shout out to anyone uh, watching that's seen the firmware updates from years ago plus you'll uh this will be a bit of an interesting reminiscence nostalgia i guess um yeah and that'll be it thank you once again hit the like button uh, rate and review on the audio platforms uh, subscribe the comment all that and uh talk to you next week Maybe we'll have another episode with ChatGPT or hopefully a guest, but the recording space is still a problem for me, so hell yeah. Have a good uh, rest of your life and time. Until next time, peace.